What's going on guys? Once again, my name is Adrian and welcome to the episode here on my channel. Gonna be a fun day, we will be talking about stopping modes for a Tesla. As you all know, the most unique thing about driving a Tesla is regenerative braking feature. Now that may not mean a lot to you, but it's an experience when you drive a Tesla, the acceleration, the electric torque, and the slowing down and braking process. For the most part, a lot of Tesla owners do one pedal driving, meaning you don't need to tap on the brake pedal to slow down or even come to a full stop. I'm gonna take you on a process here on the menu on the touchscreen. Right over here, we click on the car icon. And when you click on the dynamics, you will see that there are three stopping modes. And that's what I'm going to talk about and demonstrate on this video. Currently, we are in a hold mode. Now, for you to switch which one of these you want to select, you have to be completely stopped and in park. So I'm going to go ahead and show you first creep right here. All right. Now that we have gone and changed it to creep stopping mode, let me show you what it does. Currently, I'm in park. And when I put it in drive, now creep mode is basically like driving a regular gasoline powered car. So I'm on drive right now, fully stopped. My foot is on the brake pedal. If I go ahead and let off on the brake pedal, the car will slowly move forward because I'm in drive. I'm gonna hit the brake pedal. Now, if I were to put this in reverse and let go of the brake pedal, I'm moving backwards in reverse. And let's go ahead and start accelerating at a decent speed. I'm gonna go ahead and accelerate here. We're in a neighborhood, so let's just go 15 miles an hour. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let off on the accelerator and watch what happens. It's gonna slow down for me, but it's not gonna come at a full complete stop. It's just slowing down for me and I'm currently rolling at a very slow speed of four miles an hour. But if I do not tap on the brake pedal, it's not gonna come at a full complete stop. So for me to do that, I will have to hit on the brake pedal. And let me put it in park. That just sums up uh, the stopping mode called the creep mode. So you think of it as like driving a regular gas powered car. This is the least efficient as far as like saving energy. So, but if you are new to Tesla and you're just weirded off with the way that the regenerative braking works, uh, my suggestion is to start with this. That way you're, you're just like driving a regular car. This is the least efficient, uh, the least energy efficient uh, for, your, for the type of driving that Tesla is made for. And that's what that does. So now we're ready to move on to roll mode. Currently I'm parked and I'm at a complete stop. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to roll. So as you can see, there's creep, roll, and hold. Roll is like kind of in the median portion. It does say roll when pedals are released. So the best way that I can go ahead and explain what roll mode is to you is to demonstrate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch from park to drive. And now what happens if I were to let off on the, on the brake pedal? Think of the roll mode as if your car is parked in neutral in a regular gasoline powered car. So currently we're in drive but we're at a flat surface. So in roll mode you think that this car if I were to let off on the brake because we're on a flat surface it's not gonna go anywhere. However if we're on a downhill and I'm on drive and I let go of the brake pedal then the car is gonna move downwards, forward. And if we're on an uphill and we're in drive, it's gonna go backwards if my foot is not on brake. So I'll go ahead and accelerate to demonstrate to you what happens. Um, I'll go ahead and move forward and accelerate my car. And once again, we are in a nice neighborhood. The speed limit around here is 25 miles an hour. Um, there's not a lot of traffic because it is one o'clock in the afternoon, which is good for filming. You know, we want to be safe, especially around people and pedestrian and kids in particular. So let's go on a straight shot here. 
in a second and then I'm gonna go ahead and release or let off on the accelerator and I want you guys to see what happens in roll mode. I'll go to 15 miles an hour and let off on the accelerator. Take a look at the speed. It also slows me down. It's kind of very similar to the creep mode earlier. Um, but it slows me down to 3-2 miles an hour. Now is it gonna come at a complete stop? It looks like it's a 1 mile an hour and... It's just going on a... Okay, it came at a complete stop but at a very slow rate. That's what happened when we were in crawl mode and I let off on the accelerator. I did not have to tap on the brake pedal. Um, but it took a long time for me to brake. So in real uh, scenario... In real scenario... Basically, if there was a car, I'm gonna need to tap on the brake pedal so I don't get in a collision with a car in front of me. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this particular location right here just to park safely. And I just kind of demonstrated to you what happens in roll mode. But we're on to the last part, which is Tesla's hold mode. We're on park, and we're gonna go ahead and click on hold. And it tells you what, what it does. It maximizes the range by extending regenerative braking to lower speeds and automatically blends in brake to hold the vehicle at a complete stop. So let's go ahead and switch to drive. And again, I want to emphasize that this hold mode is what I use 100% of the time when driving this car because I'm so used to driving this car right now. And I want maximum efficiency of my driving range. So I'll switch to drive and we're not moving right now. If I were to let off on the brake pedal, I'm not going anywhere even though I am on drive. The car is holding my position so I'm fully stopped. I'll go ahead and start accelerating. Make my signal here and accelerate. But watch what happens as soon as I let off and let go of the accelerator. Here, I'll go 20 miles an hour. And then I'll let off on the accelerator. And just a few seconds later, I'm at a complete stop. I did not have to hit on the brake pedal. I'll try it again. Accelerator. And we're actually, I think, gonna go on a complete stop on a turn or curb here. Let's take a look. Oh no, it's just an intersection. So from 16 miles an hour, let off on the brake pedal, and really very shortly, how, I don't know how many feet that is, but it brought me to a complete stop. And this is the stopping mode that I use all the time that I'm driving my Tesla. All right, we'll turn the corner here. Looks like we're safe, no cars around us. There is a stop sign, so I'm gonna let off on the accelerator. And it just stops instantly for me. I hope I'm doing a very good job and so does my cameraman um, on demonstrating like how it's like driving a Tesla on different stopping modes guys. Accelerating and if you notice I'm driving around the neighborhood here and man like I let off on the accelerator while I'm on 23 miles an hour. Let's go ahead and go for like a scenic drive around the neighborhood. Like it is a non-busy roads right now because everybody's either at school or at work. So here, 25 miles an hour speed limit. We're driving very cautiously, you know, it's a neighborhood streets. You never know, cars pulling in and out. And I'll go ahead and release the brake pedal. I did not have to hit on the brake pedal and it just stopped for me. And of course, if there is a car in front of me um, and I need to slow down, like the car will slow down a little more aggressively. Now, the only time that I will need to hit on the brake pedal while I'm on hold mode is when I get cut off by somebody. When somebody just instantly cut my lane off and in case of an emergency, of course, I needed to stop a whole lot quicker then I'm gonna need to hit on the brake pedal to avoid colliding, you know, or hitting someone that just cut me off. But that does happen sometimes. So here, we're on a stop sign. See, from 10 miles an hour down to zero, um, that's very quick, you know, that's basically called one pedal driving. One pedal driving 
hold mode in Tesla's regenerative braking technology is really such like you know a whole nother adds a whole nother dynamic on the way that you drive an electric car I once got introduced to this technology driving a rental car like a few years ago even before I bought my Tesla Model 3 um, I drove a Prius from Portland to Seattle and I was like man I I didn't realize this is what regenerative braking is but Tesla just took it to a whole nother level by by giving these three stopping modes right here creep once again what it does is it it basically mimics as if you're driving a regular gas powered car roll is kind of in between um, it mimics as if when you're at a stopping mode like your car is in neutral and hold which is currently uh, the mode that I'm driving right now and basically all the time that I'm driving this Tesla um, that is the hold mode also called the one paddle driving one great advantage of driving a Tesla and you're in a stopping mode hold mode is that if you are in a bumper to bumper traffic and you're basically going forward very slowly you know typically on a gas powered car you would go ahead and hit the brakes and the gas pedal and then the brakes and the gas pedal um, on a on a very slow five miles an hour or less because you're in a bumper to bumper traffic now in hold mode this can potentially save you in case you have a mental lapse and you let off on the brake pedal and the car rolls and that's mainly the cause of a lot of uh, rear end collision even at a slow speed and really that just saves you an accident that really gives you more peace of mind that in case of a bumper to bumper you're gonna have to you're you're basically more secure and safe because you're avoiding a collision you will never be at fault in the sense where your car did not move forward because your car rolled because you let off on the brake and there was a car in front of you being in an accident you know you're gonna have to deal with somebody suing you or they might lawyer up and sue you for a lot of money um, go after your insurance and then your monthly payment goes skyrocket for a basically like a bumper to bumper rear end collision for going very slow even if it's like three miles an hour and you hit their bumper and there was barely any damage and they want to go ahead and you know sue you for a quarter million dollars or you know uh, who knows what the lawyers will do or will ask for um, but nevertheless I mean this topic hold mode can really save you in bumper to bumper traffics and accidents and in so many ways that I could think of basically that's a full demonstration of of Tesla's regenerative braking stopping mode guys I hope this video you find very useful um, in its content on explanation all the demonstration that I did hope you enjoyed my content if you like my video I highly encourage and I really appreciate it a lot if you subscribe to the channel hit that like button or share to your friends this is Adrian checking out I will see you in the next episode peace